Hey everyone, the name is Chris Barocci, welcome to Gear Corner. What I have here in front of me today is the brand new J-Rocket Archer Select, which is an interesting pedal for many reasons. First of all, and that's like immediate mic drop or clone drop. It has the original germanium, like NOS germanium diode of the clone center, which is the 1N34A. But it has a lot more to offer and it has tons of features and I believe it needs some explanation to understand what it does and where it sits in this huge family of clown style pedals. Short housekeeping before we dig deeper. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell if you enjoy what you're seeing here. You can hit thumbs up, that would be awesome. Leave a comment below, of course, and check out the description box if you want to know my complete signal chain, what I'm using, if you want timestamps and all those things. Of course, uh, my merch too, if you want to grab something, that would be amazing. So, the Archer Select is an Archer on all kinds of NOS Germanium Love kind of steroids. <laughs> The core of the pedal is the Archer, the normal Archer that came out, I think it was even the first mainstream clown style pedal after the clown center, of course. It's on the market for a very long time and J-Rocket brought out a couple of different versions of it. The, the Archer Icon, the um, the Jeff Beck Archer, uh, the, the Archer Clean or Clean Archer, and this is like the ultimate clown style pedal. That's what it really is. The core of this pedal is the original Archer, but it has two foot switches. The one is to turn it on and off. The other one is there to engage six different clipping diodes. So if you have this engaged, one of these six diodes is gonna be replacing the original diode that's the Archer's standard one. It needs some explanation, so we'll get into that. Also, I'll tell you which which NOS germanium diodes or LED, because uh, that's also in there, um, is active and I'll compare all the sounds and everything. But before we get into that, I wanted to show you my clean sound, then the core sound of the Archer without the clipping switch engaged, um, and also talk about that additional jack on the side, which I will show later. All right, let's, uh, let's go for it. So that's the normal Archer tone. That's what you get if you get a standard Archer. And uh, now I will engage the clipping switch, which will let me choose which of these six options I want to have, like six clipping diode options. Uh, five of them are going to be NOS germanium diodes. And the last one is 
very different. It's a red LED. Well, actually, I think two LEDs. Uh, so that is a radically different sound. The pedal becomes much louder too. The other ones are much more subtle and you actually have to know how to set up the pedal to hear any difference. So there is something to it, like tiny little differences if you really, really pay attention. But honestly, if that was that was it, like that, that's all those clipping options give me, I'm like, okay, that's just, what is the point in paying any attention to the clipping diode? Like, come on. But if you crank the gain some more, you actually hear much more of that part of the circuit of a clan style pedal, the clipping part, the actual overdriving part. If you keep the gain knob on its left side up until 12 o'clock, you barely hear anything from the clipping side. You, that's pretty much a, a clean boost with some mid push, like some coloration. But as soon as you go above 12 o'clock and especially from two o'clock and above, that's where you hear most of the drive circuit in the pedal and barely any clean signal coming through anymore. So that is where the differences are going to be much more obvious. Let's do a second round. I'll put the germanium diodes on screen so that you can tell what you're hearing. And then I want to talk about what my, my um, first impression was. Even though we're still talking about subtle differences except for the last one which is the led clipping which is much more open sounding much louder of course but the other five 
clipping diodes and the original one, the when the clipping switches off the normal Archer diode, they sound much more similar. That's much more of a feel difference than huge EQ changes, something that like the audience would notice in a band mix. But uh, you know how it is. If you care about how your rig feels to play, uh, then these things are not irrelevant. Let's put it this way. <laughs> to me, it's the most important thing. If a, a rig feels nice, I don't care if it's not the nicest tone or most versatile tone, I will enjoy playing it. If it sounds great, but, but it's a struggle to make it work, it doesn't feel right, uh, yeah, that's, that's not my thing. This is such a cool pedal for me because it just helped me to understand the circuit much more and understand what I want to pay attention to and what I don't necessarily have to that much. Again, that depends on the clone style pedal user. If you like to crank the gain, those diodes are gonna matter much, much more. And here's the part that confused me quite a bit. I was talking about the, um, the clipping diode's importance in the tone depending on the gain level. But when I recorded the intro song for this, uh, this video, I grabbed my Strat, I didn't have the description, like the manual or anything yet. I just received the pedal, I plugged it in, I was looking for tones. I was fooling around with the clipping uh, knob and, you know, just trying to find tones that worked for the riff that I ended up uh, recording. And, um, and I, I grabbed it towards one of the clipping modes and it was this one, the third, yeah, the third one, which I was like, yeah, that's cool. That, I like that probably a bit more than the others because of the gain structure, the amount of low end, high end, you know, sounded a little rounder than some others, but also open. I was like, yeah, that's, that's gonna work. That's the one I'll be using. And then I received the manual and I figured out that that is the magic components. That's the one and 34 a the original um, germanium diode from the clan center and i'm like okay <laughs> so what now <laughs> i was thinking that it doesn't really matter and then without knowing anything basically um, in a blind test i literally chose the component that made the clan center so famous <laughs> So what did we learn from that? I do not know. <laughs> this formula still works. If you keep the gain lower than three o'clock, clipping diodes are hard to tell apart. If you crank the gain, there are differences. And for whichever reason, even though I never ever played an original Clon Centaur, I gravitated towards that um, or those diodes, those germanium diodes 
uh, which is funny. So let's talk about my thoughts on it. Um, do you need the Archer Select as you know your sixth <laughs> clone style pedal? Probably not. Are you still looking for a clone style pedal that is better than what you have or you never actually got one but you are kind of into it? And this is actually a really good option for for your only or your you know your improved clone experience. Oh, and I can totally imagine these pedals, the Archer Selects, being pretty expensive after a while because even J Rocket states that they have a, a good amount of these uh, NOS germanium diodes, but they can't imagine running out of them eventually. And then they will just replace them with very similar or maybe even identical ones that are still available because these are obviously old. Um, germanium diodes that they found. They have a lot of them now, but who knows how long. I can imagine these being collectible once they don't have any of those original uh, germanium diodes, um, especially the OG one, the 1N34A. And there's one more feature I didn't really show. I will now, but I didn't really want to focus on it because it's nice, but it's not super impressive. It's um, this side jack here, which is an analog speaker simulation, and it's it's a line out, uh, really, in case you don't have an amp around, you just wanna plug it in and just record an idea, or you have, I don't know, maybe headphones that work. I didn't try it, but it might even work with headphones. So if you have your small power bank and you can power the pedal on trains or buses, tour buses, wherever you are, uh, you can just actually practice with it. Uh, or it can save your evening in case your amp dies on you and you have a gig and you have nothing else. Well, then plug it in. Uh, the mixer will need to tweak it a bit to make it sound bigger, but it's a usable, nice line output. Uh, and this is how it sounds. All right, let me know in the comments below what you think about the Archer Select. Are you as nerdy as I am and do you enjoy these little differences between the clipping diodes? Uh, and how did you like the, the LED one? I played it with the Tele and honestly, with those radical settings, like much less treble, all the gain in, much less volume because it's really loud. That's a really unique clone style sound. It's not even clony anymore. It's just cool. I don't know. I like it. All right. Take it easy. See you down there in a the comment and meet you in the next video next week. Bye-bye.